My biggest fear when I got diagnosed was, am I gonna lose my job? I'd live without my wife. Who's gonna watch my child? What would I do without him there? Am I gonna be alive for the wedding? Who's gonna take care of my mom if I'm gone? Cancer is not just a medical issue. It impacts every part of who you are. When people think about cancer, they think about it as a single crisis point. And we know in supportive care that it's actually multiple crisis points. And that first time you hear the word cancer, that's a crisis point. There's surgery, there's radiation, there's chemotherapy, there's a fear of recurrence. We understand that at these different points, there are different needs. You need a multidisciplinary, highly functioning team that can deliver all of the personalized services, those personalized supportive care services that each individual patient needs. Clinical social workers, resource coordinators, palliative care and pain management providers, child life specialists, chaplains that have come together to make sure that families have the help they need with the most common challenges and concerns every step of the way with their cancer. We're seeing that you can have decreased visits to the emergency room, shorter ICU stays, even studies that have shown that overall survival can increase just by the addition of supportive care services from the beginning. The caring part of cancer is where supportive medicine comes in. There was a social worker that I developed a bond with. She talked about journaling and then just being able to talk some things through. I've gotten massage therapy. I've taken art classes you know, just meeting people, and we all had different diagnoses. They actually brought out Play-Doh to give my little brother a visual on how cancer worked and what was happening inside my body. It showed me that you don't have to do everything alone. The gift was given in the hopes that it will accelerate the work, that City of Hope can export it to everyone, every hospital in America. Every single human being deserves to be treated this way. We think about philanthropy not just about the money. It's about that partnership. It's about that belief, that vision of we can do more, faster, better for more people. We are expanding our well-established supportive care program into a scalable model that can reach patients around the country. I learned that this is such an important part of getting well because I watched my two girlfriends' families fall apart during their illnesses. I am convinced today that at least one of them would have survived if she wasn't so terribly impacted by the absolute collapse of the family around her. There's so much collateral damage to this disease, and we actually have the power to help that. That's what we're doing at City of Hope. We're getting rid of the collateral damage so that people could actually feel free enough to be able to focus on getting well.